So I guess I, this is obviously a, a shocking day. I mean, like you said, you were still processing. Yeah, I think we are still processing the whole thing, really. I know you are. I am. And we're just worried about our, you know, bam, he's out of town and was just told. So he's devastated, needless to say. The, uh, we all are. Westchester is, you know. Our whole entire jackass family is, like, beside themselves. I mean, I can't believe it. Yeah. I mean, the, the reality is I mean, we've all seen or heard of these movies and the crazy stuff that went on, but they were, they were a close-knit group of guys, and you guys were buddies. Yeah. Very tight. Mm-hmm. And, um, I mean, we're close with all the jackass guys, but, you know, of course, the guys from Westchester, you know, who spent a lifetime here, at our house, you know, especially when they were younger and in high school, you know, and they've made something of themselves. And, you know, Ryan was just Bam's really dear friend, and we just loved them. You know, we all did. Yeah. I just can't even, I, I actually can't even believe it. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, I think a lot of people start processing because, like you said, people probably thought it was a hoax this morning. When they yeah, like when they... Called from MMR, we said we'll check it out. It's probably another rumor, but mm -hmm. this one turned out to be real. Yeah. yeah. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about Brian? What kind of person he was. What do you? Uh, he fit in with them perfectly. They were best friends, and they they fed off of each other. And uh, and Jesse too. And our son Jesse. Yeah. Too, and he was a, he was always every CKY concert like we were. So. It's he's a part of our family. He told us every time he left, "You're like my mom, and dad." Yeah. It's just really hard. I mean, he's just a super nice guy. Do anything for you. Always happy. You know. What can I say? You know, other than he was just a super guy. He used to call you on Mother's Day, right? Yeah. <laughs> he did. Yeah. He always called me on Mother's Day or texted me. So how how's the group gonna deal with this? I mean, how are you this morning? I'm sure there were phone calls and conversations. We've like heard from everybody around the world already, and it's just the idea that he's not here, like just hasn't even even been computed yet. I mean, I haven't moved past the fact that I don't know that he's he's not here. I don't think we've even dealt with any of it. So, I don't know. I really don't know. I just hope everybody's going to be all right. I hope Bam's going to be all right. I hope we'll be all right. And I might, you know, our prayers go out to his family and, you know, and Angie and everybody. Angie's his girlfriend. Yeah, she's really so sweet. Mm -hmm.